Inland Hurricane in Oklahoma. Did the homestead survive? Hey folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance, I want to welcome you to our channel. Last night in central Oklahoma was rocking and rolling with storms. I think the weathermen were saying we had a, a, something similar to an inland hurricane, especially with the amount of uh, wind that we had and the speeds of the winds we had last night. So we're going to go outside and do a little health check on everything and see how everything's looking. So let's go. All right, so we're on the front porch. Last night in the Oklahoma City metro area, they were getting like 90, sustained 90 mile per hour winds for 20, 30 minutes. Once it finally got out to us, we're probably about 30 miles south of that area. Um, we got about 50, 60 mile per hour winds. So not as bad, uh, but so far, everything looks okay other than a few things. So very scary last night, very scary. Let's go check it out, guys. So first glance, uh, the tomatoes look like it turned okay, okay I should say. Looks like some of the branches got pulled back and bent over. So once it kind of dries up and stops raining, we'll come out here and kind of assess it a little deeper. But for the most part, they're still here. So that's a good thing. And uh, they don't look too damaged. And it looks like this real tall ochre plant got a little bent over. It don't look like it's broken. Spike it later. Well, maybe it'll go back. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back to the top of that. That one may be toast. I don't know. But it looks like the cucumbers, as rough as they are, they look like they've made it, but there's not long to live on that. But I do see a lot of tree limbs, little, little bits of trees all over here and around the goat area. The goat voice hid from afar, looks fine. So, so we'll go check it out. So we're down here at the boy, our, our male goat area. And other than a bunch of leaves that the goats are loving, um, looks like everything's good. We don't have a lot of water flowing through. I don't think we've got a ton of rain. I think on, on our weather dial, it only showed like maybe a half an inch of rain and we've been pretty dry lately. So, but I think it's mostly wind and uh, and Marcy was really concerned last night. The you know here in Oklahoma, our weather is pretty good, especially when it comes to these kind of storms. They have awesome covers. They have a lot of storm trackers that roam around and take pictures of everything. And they were taking pictures of a Lowe's over in like Edmond, which is far north side of Oklahoma City. Midwest City. Or was it was it Midwest City? So they were taking a uh, uh, some some video of a Lowe's in Midwest City, which is about the straight north of us here and they were showing a shed, very similar to our goat shed here, flipped over and pushed against some trees. So that just worried us even more, thinking, okay, is this gonna really be able to make it? It's not strapped down to the ground. We never thought we really needed to, but it made it. So, whoo! So it looks like everything made it. I don't see any damage or anything. Uh, our little our artesian wells that flow through this area last spring, none of them are flowing. So I think some of that just has to do with, we just had a really dry July and, and most of August. And of course our boys are fine. They are super excited this morning. And you're dirty. Yeah, shake it out, buddy. Shake it, I know. That rain, that rain was terrible, wasn't it, buddy? Yo. But it's all good. It's all good though, isn't it? Yeah, it was loud though, wasn't it? Was it loud? Yeah, it was. That's right. Oh, yes. Okay. You're a big boy. Well, now we're in the backyard. And the good thing for the garden. 
they, this storm rolled in from the northwest, going southeast, and the garden was blocked from, with the house by that type of wind direction. So I think that kind of helped out a little bit. It's a good thing. Well, the roof looks really good. Now this roof is a, just a little bit over a week old and it looked like it held up really, really well. Super excited about that. So uh, the guys did a good job roofing it. So really good, but it looks like the chicken coops, go pin area, survived it really well. Other than having a little branches down and leaves, which once the goats uh, will start walking on the wet grass, they'll like that. Chickens, you guys doing out? Yeah, I thought that was a loud night for you, wouldn't it? Come on, chicken, chickens. Come on, chicken, chickens. Come on, Come on, chicken, chickens. Come on, guys. Let's go. Hey blondies, you guys make it okay? Oh yeah, you guys are all roosting, aren't you? There you go. Good girls. Yeah, it was a loud night, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, but you guys got water. I need to fill this up. Let's go check on the goats. All right, hey guys. Yeah, you guys gonna let me in? Come on, let me let me get in. Come on, let me get in. Hey, he's spicy. You hiding over there? Yeah. Okay. That thing looks pretty good in here. Got a little bit of wetness in there, but not bad. So we checked out everybody, everybody's perfectly fine. The buildings are perfectly fine. We got so lucky because a lot of people in our area are without electricity, schools are closed. They have a lot more damage than what we do here. The only thing that we could even find is we have some, I had some scrap metal and some boards over in behind the house and those got blown around. Other than that, I don't see anything. It uh, looks like our neighbor got a trash can blown over, but. I mean, really, we feel pretty lucky that everything turned out like it was. <clears throat> we still have power and, and everything. And, and I think they said there was 97 homes without power. Or means 97. So the weather people were saying they have 97,000 homes without power within the Oklahoma City metro area. And so they were kind of us using the calculation of times and that by three. So that would be what, 20, uh, 270,000 people without power. So over a quarter million people without power in the Oklahoma City area. So we feel very blessed and lucky that uh, everything turned out good. So we're super glad and thankful and blessed. So whew, we made it. Well, guys, thanks for coming back, watching this video. Uh, hopefully you found this interesting. Uh, we just thought we'd have to share kind of what went on because it was a strong storm that, that blew through last night. Normally we get little storms that come through and they may be intense, but they go real quick. This lasted for like four hours of nonstop wind and rain. It's just like they were saying, it was like an inland hurricane. So whew, we're glad that it, uh, nothing really happened. Hey, if you haven't caught us on Facebook and, and Instagram, those links will be down below. If you haven't already subscribed, that link could be right over there. Ring that bell so you get notified that next time that video comes out. And from our homestead to yours, have a blessed day, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.